Tomorrow is a very important day for a company that has a base at the spaceport. They're trying to do something unprecedented, something that could dramatically bring down the cost of space travel. While the dramatic test will be done in Florida, it could bring a lot of action and business to New Mexico. News 13's pilot reporter Bob Martin shows you. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launching from Florida carries an unmanned Dragon capsule full of supplies for the International Space Station. After the first stage booster drops the capsule in space, that booster will head back into the atmosphere and maneuver toward a drone ship in the Atlantic floating about 200 miles off the Florida coast. It will try to soft land on the ship. As I said, it's an experiment. Um, there's a... Um, there's a certain likelihood that this will not work out right, that something will go wrong. However, SpaceX has already soft landed two boosters in the ocean itself. Those boosters broke up in the water. This time, an unmanned floating platform will be waiting to provide a dry landing pad. So the drone ship uh, sits there right now and uh, is basically waiting for the mission to happen. Um, that I'm, I'm pretty sure this will be, uh, will be very exciting. This year in New Mexico, in flights similar to these, SpaceX is preparing to launch and land some of its boosters at Spaceport America. SpaceX hopes the work in New Mexico and Florida will usher in an era of reusable rocket boosters driving down costs. To make this more like an aircraft um, operation where the stage comes back, gets uh, minimal service to have as many launches as possible. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13. Tesla founder Elon Musk is the man behind SpaceX. While SpaceX will do testing at the spaceport, his company is building its launch pad on the Gulf in Texas. SpaceX specializes in sending payloads and satellites to space, but they also want to someday send a crew to Mars.